Hello friend, welcome back to this lesson. So in the last lesson, we have uh, configured the single sign-in uh, you know, certificate here. And if you look at here, now it's a successfully done on trust. And uh, if you see the status here, it's okay and success, correct? Now we are going to configure here. Same thing like uh, create a new certificate. Okay, give the name, it's mylab.com. Okay and give the password test and uh, sorry uh, you can allow this trust same thing okay and uh, to getting you know successful you need to do apply because if you look at here ready to apply if you apply it it will start the processing once you process is completed successfully and if you have done all are right then it's so the status and uh, instead also will be success let's wait for some time so now we are configuring the certificate and um, deployment we have first we have done the enable single sign-on and now we are doing this uh, publishing so if you look at here it is now it's saving the data the certificate Okay, same we will do for the third also. So if you look at here, subject name, it's not applicable. The certificate is required to sing, uh, sign RDP files to avoid any additional warning message for the user. You can update the certificate by creating certificate. So if you look at here, it is also configured. Same thing, click existing because we don't have the path and I don't have stored the certificate also here. So what I will do, I create the new certificates. Again, I can give the mylab.com here and give the test, okay? And uh, allow, install in trust and apply it. So again, third also will be configured and it will take some time, few minutes or maybe one minute. Yeah, if you look at here, it's configuring and saving here. It is very simple configuration there is a no you know a big task over here just you know after installation of uh, you know remote desktop services then we need to install the certificate here to going to server overview here and there is a task you have to select the deployment and there we can configure the certificate we will create the certificate and configure here i mean deploy here It is required mostly the server authentication for the single sign-in and establishing the secure connection only. Okay, so now it's done 3R. Okay, if you look at RD web access, RD connection broker, RD connection broker enable single sign-in. It's publishing and web access. Okay, so I just click over the OK. Now what I will do here, go to the ID deployment properties. So I don't want to do like configure here more like per user also if you want to specify the license server and add the click like uh, you know you can specify the license server here also like uh, FS01 uh, this is my license server sorry FS01 you add it here this is what and select the order of remote desktop license server the RDS session host server the RD virtualization host server Spence request for license the specified license server in the order in which you list them okay so i can per user i can specify the server and i can apply it and you can also select the per device also press ok okay now if you go to here edit uh, you know if you already licensing okay okay so now this part is done okay if you select the rd licensing here you can like uh, uh, for the license purpose the server is not selected so you just click the server and click over here it will come over once it is added you can do the next sorry guys 
yeah the credential you know will use the administrator account will be used to this you know uh, so now it is done okay press the eight yeah it is now the rd service license grown uh, role services installing in this server uh, you can select other servers also if you want to select Uh, still it is in progress i think will take few seconds only to install the licensing role i mean licensing role services yep now it's configuring There is the options is here also like for the collection you can create the collect create session collection over here and also you know rd session host server you can you know many servers you can add over there for the host uh, session and if you look at here now it's a succeed and the close right and rd gateway for the rd gateway also we can same server i want to take here just click over here and click the next <coughs> it's adding yeah so it asking the uh, like uh, certificate here because sl certificate are used to encrypt uh, you know uh, communication between the remote desktop services client and rd gateway server uh, whatever the client you are taking uh, it will communicate with rd gateway server so that is the reason it required the ssl certificate you need to give the actually your name here like uh, mylab.com correct click the next sorry get the external FQDN is my lab dot click it Yeah, it is installing. We have imported the certificate here and uh, it's being installing. Uh, I mean, install like and you can choose the different server for the RD gateway also. No, not an issue. We can do that while adding the server. But uh, because it's a testing environment, I am using this server only, broker as well the gateway. And the RDS web access I'll show. I am configuring here only. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's uh, going to complete. Yet, yet to complete. Yeah, still it is. Yeah, now it's a succeed. If you look at here, the deployment has been configured to use mylab.com. The following role service required to certificate to configure. Configure certificate if you click. Like same thing, RD get pay. You can configure here like, uh, uh, I mean, create new certificate. Like same thing, you can give the mylab.com. Okay, and click the test. Okay, allow for the toss route and apply. So it will ready to configure. And once it is configured proper, it will show you the okay and state should be a success. I mean, uh, it should be okay and state should be a success. Let's see. Yeah, it is now saving. We'll take a few seconds here. We need to wait uh, to 
till configured it's done so it will take few seconds to configure so till that i'm by taker so we will uh, see you on the next video how we can create the collection and add the application over there and how uh, the user can take the uh, rdp you know um wave access rd rd wave access uh, through url that we will look at so thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you